Hello, I spent an hour or two and mocked up a hacking game, and I figured I'd show it to you. Uh, this is what it looks like. In the bottom left you see reality as it stands, and you've got some lady talking to you. Right now it's just the typical story of uh, uh, you being blackmailed into helping some sort of femme fatale do something horrible. And I'm just letting it play out, so now you can see she's added the high school public network to our access, so uh, we can go ahead and access that. Now I haven't actually built any of the complicated stuff you can do, but we can, at the very least, explore that network. So right now, the school network has uh, two other sub-networks attached to it. Um, by the way, I've replaced the names of the uh, systems with more um, friendly names. So we've got uh, Dagix or whatever you want to call it instead of Unix and Skyfruit. Skyfruit started off as being Windows, but now it's more like Apple crossed with Windows because I don't have two separate. Uh, well, anyhow, uh, you can see that there are a couple of different kinds of of borders going on here. Um, this that uh, chain means that you can't get in. Uh, this means that you are a user but not root. Whereas uh, if there is no border you are root. So you've previously hacked the computer class and you are of course root on your own machine. Now there are a bunch of other devices hidden away which I'll go ahead and just reveal so you can see them um, by just disabling the uh, the skip that happens when devices can't be seen because normally you don't draw devices you can't see. So we're going to have to let the account play through a little bit but uh, while that happens I'm going to tell you a little bit. The idea here is um, most of these hacking games are all about um, uh, very old school sort of, of uh, systems. And I thought what I would do is I would make one that was more about um, mobile devices and getting mobile devices to connect to you wherever they go. So not everything is on the internet. It starts with the high school pub net, which is. However, the uh, um, uh, as time goes on, you'll be connecting to things like uh, uh, portable devices. In fact, the the night janitor who comes by is going to have a portable device, and you if you if you are knowledgeable enough it's not part of the tutorial but if you know what you're doing you can hack it as he goes by and then when he goes home it'll connect to you and get you into his home network so uh, as as hacking goes this game is a lot about gaining access rather than simply gaining um, passcodes in fact I don't think there will be a single passcode in in any of this I think it's entirely going to be based around um, putting spyware and uh, infiltration software on various devices. So because these haven't been identified yet, you can't, you don't know what they are. I can tell you what they are. They're uh, third floor lights, second floor lights, first floor lights, and basement lights. Those serve as distractions um, because the janitor will come by and turn them on and off as he walks his route, the night guard. Uh, down here you have the front door and the back door, um, which are the ones you need to care about. Uh, and you can just unlock both of them. There's no, no real reason not to. Um, in order to, to get into these, because they are, are barred off, you need to be able to crack them. And uh, there is some chance of cracking every minute while you are, while you are on them. So um, if I initiate a crack on any of these, it will start to uh, randomly, you know, every minute it'll, it'll, it'll have a minute go by and it will uh, uh, run, uh, you know, just random number and see whether or not you get in. So, uh, I haven't implemented any of that stuff yet, but I wanted to go ahead and just show you what I did in an hour or so. I really liked the idea behind some of the the visuals I've done. I don't know whether or not uh, it's going to end up being usable, but I like the idea of, uh, the, for example, you can see the subtle difference over here 
where the uh, the Dagix server has these kind of swishy icons, whereas the Skyfruit server doesn't. It has a kind of more punchy um, visual. And over here, these don't have any of those at all because they're not servers, and mobile devices will have some other kind of background. Uh, I like the idea of, uh, of this visual. And by the way, if you see a subtle flickering while you are looking at this on YouTube, that's not part of the YouTube. These things actually do just a little bit of flickering. Uh, they also fade in and out. Oh, no tasks available. They also fade in and out. If they haven't been drawn recently, they fade in. Uh, the animation down here, um, I, I got stuff planned for it, but mm, I haven't actually done anything with it yet except for that one tiny scene. Anyhow, I threw that together in the past couple of hours. I thought I'd show it off.